What's up everybody, Brother Christopher with the heads, not the tails. Um, moments ago, Iran just bombed some places in Iraq, American bases. And if you haven't seen it on TV, it's on the news now. But I just want to let you guys know to fret not, you know, don't be worried about these wars that are coming. Don't worry about World War III or anything. Even if it comes to our own doors, don't worry and fret not and stay strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. We know these things were gonna happen. They've been prophesied to happen through our precious Bible. Uh, we need to pray for the world today. We need to pray for everybody that is being affected by these wars and things and you know it's just uh really sad that this is what our world is resorting to you know jesus christ is going to come in the middle of this war of this of the big war when all the countries start coming together and, and joining forces with each other and uh Anyways, what you're gonna see now is you're gonna see Russia come on the news and say something about uh, messing with Iran. And, you know, Iran and Russia are definitely on the same team. So when we deal with Iran, we're also dealing with Russia and we're also dealing with North Korea so it's about to get ugly out there everybody but I want you to, to stand strong in Jesus Christ pray more than you ever have you know that I wouldn't be surprised if they start to draft people for this war so pray as much as possible Especially for those that are at the age where they're able to be drafted because you know they might sign you up to be drafted for war and you know war is the last thing that we want the only war we want is when Jesus Christ comes back to destroy this evil the, all this wicked system that we live under and I love you guys and I'm praying for everybody. Please pray for me too. And uh, you know, it's just that time. There's a time for war and this happens to be that time here. So no matter what happens, I want you to know that Jesus Christ loves you. If you have not been saved, get saved. Then repent and have faith have faith that Jesus Christ is real. Have faith that He is your Lord and that He is coming again to redeem us from this wicked world. I just thank each and every one of you for supporting my channel and supporting the gospel of Jesus Christ in this time that we're in. And I love you. And remember, you're more than conquerors. You're the heads and not the tails. And if God can use me, he can use you too. In Jesus' precious name, hallelujah and amen.